car at the tow lot. My dumb criminal brother wants a Door's locked. This door's not. Wow, wonder thing. <laughs> what the hell is this? Airbag? What the hell, dude? Damn. Wreck it? There's the screwdriver. Where the hell is the key at? Wow, dude. This whole thing. What the hell? What the hell did he do to my damn car, bro? Look at this. Why is that like that? I just pulled up. I ain't even want to talk to this. my damn car. I don't give a hell. What the hell? Mm. Why is it broken like this? Why the hell is my car like... My brother would not answer the phone for nothing. <sighs> You're kidding me, dude. I have the grill at my house. <sighs> Couldn't even close the damn battery port. Can I help you? Yeah, this is my car. No, yeah, I know. I just got pissed off. My brother, damn dude, this is correct right here. My brother was not supposed to drive my car. Told him not to move it. I guess he got pulled over, and here it is. No, he didn't get the guy impounded. Huh? It was a private party impound. Private party? Yep. So how much is it to get it out? Off of Oak Street. Oak Street. Where's that at? Uh, off of Harrison. I don't know. What the hell happened to this? I know you guys didn't do this, obviously, but. The whole interior. Yep. And is this, this is the airbag. That's part of it, yeah. Son of a man. Was it wrecked? I don't know. Do you guys know why it was picked up? Or did you guys pick it up? Yeah, we did. Well, I appreciate you guys picking it up and getting away from these dumb Stone roof's open. Wow. I came up here all the way from Ohio or from Virginia to get this damn thing today. Been calling my brother all day trying to find out where the hell it's at. Dumb. You have some type of registration with your proof of name on it? Man, it's all in Virginia. We was going to get the uh, tags for it today, because I'm pretty sure that's why it was picked up. You have a title? I ain't got nothing, man. Because we were supposed to come up here, pick it up today. My buddy was supposed to tow it back to Virginia, because I ain't driving this car. You've seen the tires, probably. But uh, where the hell is the tires at? It's supposed to be tires in the back. His ass needs to go to jail. Hey, the guy with the BMW down here. Uh, he's wanting to get it. What do I do? He don't have the old tracer It's all in Virginia, man. Uh, Oak Street. <sighs> wow. This is so damn pathetic, dude. Yeah. My tires are missing. What do you say? I didn't know he was in the office. Oh yeah, my mom's in there talking to somebody. I had uh, I had tires in the back. I know you guys didn't take them out or nothing. This is none of your guys' fault. This is my brother, but man, this is jail. So you don't know how much it's going to cost to get this out? Here the, before I even hooked it up, here's the pictures I have. Yeah, I'm not saying that you guys did anything, too. I, I trust That's you guys. Bad. Yeah, yeah. That's Th your yeah. driver. Side. That was like that. That is all the damages that I saw on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not blaming you guys for it at all. I know how my brother is. He's a I appreciate you taking pictures of it, too, man. But um, that, that was never like this. I have YouTube videos on this car. I'm a YouTuber. And... 
<laughs> oh man. I want to be so damn bad. What the hell is in the mirror? What? Twice? Let's go inside. I apologize for all this, man. I wasn't coming out here. Yeah, I was. I'm hella pissed. First time was a traffic stop. The second time they just went and towed it from the apartment to where we just came from. <laughs> well, I'm glad they took it instead of one of these dumb drug addicts. But it's hard telling how much it's going to cost to get it out. It's going to be $129 plus $17 a day for three days. Oh, well, how long has it been here? Since 26. Oh, well, we ain't got no way to. Oh, it's a dog. Here. What's up, buddy? Hey. Here. Go. <laughs> what are you doing, doggy? Go. Big dog. How the feeling that we should have brought all that stuff over here? Car got impounded two damn times. Wonder how he got it out the first time. Look at my two pot car. I can tell he did a burnout in it or something. Tried to. So my brother was not supposed to drive the car at all. It's going to cost 200 and something dollars to get the car out today. This is pathetic. All right, you guys. So we're trying to get the information that I need to show proof that I own the car. But it seems how all the proof that I own the car is in Virginia because my mom decided that she's going to take everything out of the car and take it in the house to search through papers and never took anything back. Um, we, we don't have proof that I own the car. Um, so this is what happened. So I got the 2002 BMW and I ended up trading it a year and a couple of months ago for the E38 BMW. I never got it registered in my name. I only got it notarized in my name. Like the title, everything is in my name. But because coronavirus hit and the car was already so messed up, I decided maybe I shouldn't go through all this crap and get the title put in my name and all that. I mean, it's notarized, it's not fully in my name. And like I said, everything is down in Virginia. We originally came up here to Ohio to get the sticker for my mom's car and to get my car and tow it back to Virginia because my buddy's got a truck and I got a tow bar and we can't even do nothing because the car got impounded twice. I don't know if you guys heard it in the last clip, but uh, this is what happened. So the car was parked at my second oldest brother's baby mama's house, which is where we stayed at last night. And my oldest brother was living there with him. He ended up moving out because I guess my brother's baby mama said that he left something around. He didn't like how she was talking to him. So he moved out. Well, then he called my mom up, said that he's going to move my car to one of his friend's house. So that way the car is all right. Well, I told him not to touch my car, never to touch my car because the piston rings are bad in it. The head gaskets are bad. No tail lights, no insurance, no, uh, the tags that are on the car don't even go to the car. It goes to my 2002 BMW that I had the E46 because I never got anything switched over because Corona hit. Well, he decided to take my car anyway. I made a video about this. My car got stolen. Uh, I think it was like a month ago when I made the video, two months ago, something like that. But uh, he took my damn car over to one of his buddy's house. He took a couple of pictures, sent it to my mom. I found out where the person lives at. My car wasn't there. I went up and knocked on the door. And so I went up and knocked on the door. And of course, nobody answered because they're all a bunch of drug addicts. And apparently my car got impounded twice. I don't know how my brother got the car out the first time because he needed to have all the information, all my information to get the car out, proof of ownership and all that. I don't know how he got it out. But remember, I made a video saying my brother's going to end up getting my car impounded. Either that or he's going to leave it at his friend's house and they're going to piss him off. Go to, and then he's going to end up going to jail and then the car's going to end up getting impounded. And that is exactly what the hell happened. I don't know where my brother's at. He won't answer the phone. Been trying to get a hold of him since nine o'clock this morning. He won't answer. And it's going to cost like $265 or $285 to get the car out today. And it goes up a couple more dollars each day. 
at least here in Ohio, they're cool because the car's been in there since the 26th and it's not like a thousand dollars right now. In Virginia, it'd be like almost two grand right now. So the title, the tags, all the information, like I said, that proves that the car is mine is in Virginia. And obviously I'm in Ohio because we came up here to get my car because I had no idea that my car was gonna be impounded because I specifically told my brother, do not ever drive my car. My mom, she's gonna drive right past. Hello! Doesn't even pay attention, almost runs a red light. All right, you guys, I hate to do it, but this is what's gonna have to happen. I'm gonna have to put my brother in jail because this dude's badly on drugs, and the only way for this dumb to get off drugs is if he goes to jail. He's probably end up going to go to prison. So, I had four newish tires in the back because I was gonna have them put on today, and then I was gonna have my buddy tow my car all the way down to Virginia with the new tires on it. I get to the impound lot, the tires are gone. Odds are, this took my tires out, left them somewhere, probably sold them. They had a bunch of in my car and drove around with them. I made videos, multiple videos talking about this idiot is gonna get my car impounded and look what the hell happens. My own blood brother cannot even lay his fingers off my shit. It was at my second oldest brother's house. Back again. All right, so they said because the tags don't go to the car, because I never got them switched over because Corona. Okay. Um, well, I had the car sitting in a storage unit for the longest time. Okay. I had my oldest brother, my second oldest brother, go get the car, take it to his house. And then my oldest brother moved it from that house to some, I don't know who. And then I guess the car got in town twice. I don't even know how he got it out the first time. But the DMV said to come over here and I guess report the car stolen. So I don't even know. Okay. Your brother moved your car? Yeah, without my permission. Has he had permission to drive the car? In nope, the nope, none. Nope. The car has no insurance. The tags don't even go to it because, like I said, they're, I never got them switched. Uh, the taillights don't work. There's so many problems with this car. The tires are about to explode. Who's your brother? Okay. So when I told. Huh? When was it moved? Uh, this was, I don't even know. This it had to have been last month, I think. Last month? Yeah. He yeah. said that the car was fine because he took it somewhere. He said that the car was fine where it was at. And I told him that I was mad because I told him not to even move the car in the first place. But he said that the car was fine. He sent me pictures of it and everything. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to be coming up to Ohio to get the car. So it needs to be like, you need to keep informed with me. So that way I can come get it. I've been trying to call him since nine o'clock this morning. Hold on. Man, I don't really want to press charges on him. Um, it's on a 1995 BMW 740i. What kind of car is it? It's a 1995 BMW 740i. Okay, what kind of car is it? 1995 BMW 740i. Black. Black? Yeah. Okay, uh, we're trying to, you know, see what we got with it, okay? Okay. Let's get it, you want to take a seat? I'll be out so I was in there. Uh, there's nothing that they can do. They won't give me the car today because I don't have any proof to show that the car is mine. Because everything, tags, title, or the title, everything is left in Virginia. But this, <laughs> this cop was like, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. I was like, training day. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's big old Dernan Max now. If you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. The Bible says we have all fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of our sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus our Lord. And whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. Romans 10, 9, and 10 says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of eternal life. Believe in your heart sincerely and pray this prayer right now out loud to God. Say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. 
and rose from the dead three days later. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to comment saved and please share this video and help me win some.